hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will find this variation of shear stress across the triangle so in the last video we has calculated the shear variation of shear stress across the rectangular section so in this video we will calculate the variation of shear stress across this triangle so this is a triangle this is uh, width b and height is h and this is the centroid of the triangle so this distance is h by 3 and this distance is 2h by 3 so suppose we find uh, we have a section aa at y distance from the top fiber so this is y distance from the top fiber so we have another triangle which is shaded one this is this triangle is above this selected section so this is suppose b dash is the width of this triangle and height is y so we have to find b dash so we can see that b dash by this b is equal to y upon h okay so we will find b dash is equal to b y by h now we have found this b dash so formula of this variation of the shear stress across the section is we already know q is equal to shear stress is equal to f upon b i into a into y where a is the area above this uh, cross section so we have to find the area of this triangle so it will be which will become half into width which is b dash into height which is y so it will become half into b dash we already know b y by h into height we already know y so this area will become half b y square by h and we have to find this y, y bar so y bar is the distance of this centroid of this section from the centroid of the main triangle so how to calculate this y bar so we can see that y bar is 2h by 3 minus this y sorry first we see that centroid of this triangle is 2y by 3 this is 2y by 3 and this is y by 3 so this distance is this is 2h by 3 minus 2y by 3 so y bar is equal to 2h by 3 2h by 3 is this distance from here to here minus this distance is 2y by 3 so y bar is 2 by 3 into h minus y okay so and uh, we can see that b is the width already b is fixed f is the shear force already constant we have to find i moment of inertia of this triangle will be b into h q by 36 this is the fixed formula everyone knows it so if we put all these values in the q uh, shear stress will become f upon b into b h q by 36 into a is a we have already found area is this one half into b y square by h into this y bar is we already found 2 by 3 into h minus y so this is the formula of shear stress if we can simplify this then we will find q, q is equal to so we have to simplify this but there is a little mistake sorry for that this width is the width of this section b dash so this b dash is equal to we have already calculated b dash is b y by h so we have to put b into y by h so if we simplify that then this 2 will be cancelled by 2 and uh, this 3 will be cancelled and it will be 12 and this h okay so this 12 will go up and 12 f upon 
b square into this h will cancel this so h square into this y will cancel this into b y by h into h minus y so it will become 12 f upon this b will cancel this b h q y into h minus y so this is the final expression is equal to this is cr stress so this is the final expression for the cr stress across this section so now we have to find cr cr uh, stress across various points of this section so suppose we have to find cr stress here so here we can see that here uh, y starts from here so here y will be zero so if we put y is equal to zero in this then we will get we will get this y will become zero so q will become zero because anything multiplied to zero will become zero so cr stress at this point suppose this is a so cr stress a, a will become zero then we have to find cr stress at this point so at this point y will become h this is h so y will become h so we will put y is equal to h so we can see that here h minus h is equal to zero so uh, this value multiplied by zero will become zero so suppose q here it is b so q at b is zero so we can see that at two end points cr stress is zero now we have to find cr stress at the centroid of this circle so here we can see that y is equal to 2h by 3 so at this point we will find q centroid is equal to 12f upon bh cube into y is equal to 2h by 3 into h minus 2h by 3 so it will become 12f in divided by bh cube into 2h by 3 into h minus 2h by 3 is equal to h by 3 so it will become 12f upon bh cube into 2 by 9 h square so this h square will cancel this and we can divide this by 3 3 so it will become 8 f upon 3 b h so this is the value of cr stress at this centroid of this triangle now suppose we have to find the average cr stress across this section then average cr stress across this section will be cr force f divided by area of this triangle so area of this triangle will be half into base into height so it will become 2 f upon b h so if we compare this from this then q centroid will be 4 by 3 times q average okay you can remember this so that if you find one you can find average uh, average cr stress simply by this formula then you can calculate cr stress at centroid if there is an objective question okay now we have to find the maximum cr stress so at what point maximum cr stress will occur so we have formula for the cr stress which is q is 12f upon bh cube and this is yh minus y square if we multiply this y inside the bracket then we will get this so q maximum will occur where dq by dy will be 0 so if you differentiate it then we will get 12f upon bh cube into h minus 2y is equal to 0 so we will get h minus 2y is equal to 0 so y is equal to h by 2 so at y is equal to h by 2 we will get maximum cr stress so we have to put y is equal to h by 2 in this formula so we will get q maximum is equal to 12f upon bh cube into y is equal to h by 2 into h minus h by 2 square is equal to h square by 4 so we will get 12f upon bh cube 
into h square by 2 minus h square by 4 so we will get 12 f upon b h cube h square by 4 so it will become 3 and this h will cancel so it will become 3 f upon b h so we have seen that average shear stress is this is f shear stress maximum so average shear stress is 2 f upon b h from here 2 f upon b h and this is 3 f upon b h so it is 3 by 2 times q average okay so q maximum will be 3 by 2 times q average so now we have shear stress value of shear stress at different points so we can draw the shear stress across this section so which will become like this we have this triangle okay and support this is centroid neutral axis centroid and this is y is equal to h by 2 So we are getting maximum shear stress at this point which is q maximum is 3 by 2 q average so it is 3 by 2 means 1.5 q average this is maximum we have calculated 0 at this point we have calculated 0 at this point shear stresses are 0 at these points and at this point we have calculated shear stress is 4 by 3 times means 1.33 times q average so it will become 1.33 q average okay so we have already drawn this and we can see that this is a parabolic equation because y is square and this is y square is proportional to q so it is equation of parabola so this will be parabolic curve so we have to join this So this will be CR stress distribution across this triangle. Okay, I hope you understand this how to calculate the CR variation of CR stress across the triangle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then please subscribe.